Hello and welcome now to the Lady Scorpius Tarot. I am your host, Lady Scorpius. Now, I want to say I apologize, you guys, because this month has been very, very... The past three months has been very hectic for me and busy. There's a lot of changes that's been going on in my life as far as family and just personal things. So, um, just to let you guys know, like, I did do the New Year's readings. I went, I did March... I'm sorry, I did February as well. But I just didn't have enough time to post them. So, if you guys would like to check out... And backtrack and look at your um, readings from me for February and, sorry, for January and February. You can do so by um, going to my link. I'll um, I'll let, leave a link on my uh, profile on my website, ladyscorpius.com, where you guys can go ahead and purchase that reading. It'll be about $3. I'm not going to make it nothing like serious or anything expensive because it's backdated. But at the same time, if you guys need to see what was going on in the current months of January and February to see if it's in lining up with what's going on right now for March, then let me know. So this right now I'm going to be doing my Scorpios because I feel like I got a lot of Scorpio friends. I'm a Scorpio son. There's a lot of things going on with Scorpio. Um, so I'm just going to use my tarot cards today as I'm crunched for time. Um, and today I'm going to be using one of my new decks, my Miss Cleo deck. Yes, Miss Cleo. And these cards are beautiful. Egyptian. Universal messages from my Scorpio, Tom, Liza, and Venus for the month of March 2018. What is going on for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for March 2018? I mean, 2019. I ask for your message, I love my clarity for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of March 2018. This is love reading, general messages only, Universal Spirit. Three cards for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2019. Universal Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and God, the Masters. Ask for you to give me messages I love, like clarity for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2019. Universal Spirit, few messages for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2019. The matters of the love. The heart chakra. What message do you have for my Scorpio? Okay. Universal Spirit, give me one more message for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. All right, you guys. I feel like um, the overall energy for the month of March, we have the Queen of Coins. So I see my Scorpios just taking time out to really focus on your money, your stability, what makes you happy, having an abundance. Some of you guys could have started a new job. Um, if not, it's just you just working out your finances or, you know, maybe you got a windfall of money, um, a settlement for some of you guys. Um, some of you guys definitely had a settlement because we see judgment here. So some of you guys, if you went to court to sue somebody or maybe you was looking for some money, like a windfall of money, I do see you guys getting that for the month of March. It can also be taxes as well. Um, a lot of people has been getting taxes back and, you know, that's, that's always a good thing to have, you know out of the blue because a lot of times you know you can take that money and use it for what you needed to do need to do personally or whatever the case may be um but the well, first call we have is the nine of staff so i do see some of you guys have been even blocking a relationship blocking communication with somebody that you're in a relationship with maybe friends or whatever or this person has done it to you um like i said energies are vice versa they can be fluent they can go either or ways um, so I do see some of you guys have been dealing with a fire sign, um, Leo Sandra Aries person that has blocked communication with you or blocked uh, relationship um, or action. They blocked action when they came to you. Or maybe this is how you were looking at them, like you want to block communication and all contact with them or just taking action towards them. And what we have is judgment. So with judgment, I feel like you guys have made a final decision to let it go. Like I feel like the judgment card was here. But the ones who are dealing with court cases, um, just know that it will rule in your favor if you guys are trying to get divorced from your partner. Um, maybe you're looking for some type of like spousal support or whatever court things that you're that, that you're dealing with with this client. I mean, with your um your current partner. Um, but I do see like some of you guys definitely with the seven of coins you invested in a lot, and some of you guys can be dealing with a fire sign. I'm sorry, a earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And you feel like you've just been carrying a lot of weight on your back. Like, you invested a lot in this relationship, financially, physically, mentally. And I feel like you're just looking at the situation. For some of my people, I see some of my Scorpios looking like, okay, I'm in a situation with an earth sign. I've been carrying on a lot of dead weight or a lot of just weight, period. I've been financially invested in this person, and I feel like it's just moving slow. Like, it's not going towards towards what I need it to be. I'm kind of confused on if I should keep investing in this and carrying on carrying in all this weight. 
You understand? Because I feel like with the judgment card, maybe this person has been like, you know, maybe they did some things in the past that was kind of wrong or they kind of wronged you and you kind of trying to make a decision if, if you want to give them another chance or if you're going to just move on out. But some of you guys, I see this is definitely with a marriage and some of you guys are definitely moving on out. Okay. Um, because like, I feel like some of you guys have been spying on this person or you just realize maybe you got some type of inside information and you see that this person is just not on the same page as you. Um, for others, it's just like you feel like you need to block this person in order for you to focus, okay? Um, let me clarify. Clarify the nine of staffs for my studio, some of rising Venus when it comes to love. Why is the nine of wands here with the nine of staffs? My Scorpio and Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month of March 2019. In love. Yeah, with the Six of Swords, some of you guys moved away from this person. Some of you guys took a break from this person and just moved away from them. You could have moved away, um, like, while they were gone or while they were blocking you. Or maybe they were out on vacation. Maybe they were traveling. Whatever the case may be. But I see that some of my Scorpios definitely traveled away from rocky waters into calm waters. See, some a lot of you guys definitely left your last relationships because it was just... I feel like some of you guys were dealing with a lot of, like, instability with this relationship. Um, you invested a lot, and you just wasn't seeing what you wanted to see in return. Maybe it wasn't an equal give and take. Um, but with the Six of Swords, I see some of you guys getting victory on moving forward from this relationship and moving from uh, Rocky Porters to more peace. You understand? Some of you guys can also have moved away and traveled, um, either traveled or went on vacation, or you found your own place and moved out of the house with this person, okay? Um, let's see. Why is the judgment card here? That's going to clarify for the judgment card. My Scorpio Sun Moon Rising and Venus for the month of March 2019. Okay. Yeah, I feel like um, with the Queen of Cups, this is you just working on, like, me. I feel like some of you guys probably gave an offer to this person. But this person, like, it was kind of, it came up upright, but I'm looking at it upright. It came upside down. I'm seeing that this person had you off balance at one point. Maybe you feel like this person was holding you back, had you off balance with your emotions, and you just didn't feel stable with this person because we did see it come out like this. But I just flipped it up. But I feel like some of you guys just want to work on nurturing yourself, um, nurturing your feelings, nurturing how you feel, um, being more like stable with your emotions and being grounded as well. Working on your riches, working on building for financial uh, gain and working on your career, working on money, just working on loving yourself. I feel like I said, I feel like some of you guys definitely extended this offer to somebody. But like I said, with the black crow right here, this person just was either like a dark soul or just really negative or just like really something that for some people you guys are dealing with somebody that was a little evil and conniving. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And so you made your judgment call on. I think, I believe just loving yourself first because you feel like you gave this person so many opportunities to get it right. Some of you guys, you were married to this person and it just was coming in and out your life, kind of immature and had you feeling mind fuck with the Eight of Swords, okay? Because we have the Page of Swords, I'm sorry, we have the Page of Staves, like they was coming in to try to like start something new or maybe you guys try to, you gave them a second chance and it just, they just left you with the Eight of Wands, I mean Eight of Swords, leaving you feeling like mentally fucked, like mentally mind fucked and trapped and disappointments and sorrows and even like backstabbed you a couple times, maybe stole from you as well, sneaky energy, okay, lion energy, now let's see, why is the seven of coins here, so I find the seven of coins for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March 2019, yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, some of you guys, like, this was, um, I feel like for some of you guys, like, that's dealing with her earth sign. Maybe this person has a lot of karmatic lessons that they're going through in life. And this is why they have kind of been like a burden on you. Or maybe you feel like you invested a lot in this person. Um, maybe this person is dealing with justice or karmatic situations. Um, and that's why they can't really focus on what's in front of them. Like the good fortune. Because with the will of fortune, I feel like regardless if you give this person a chance or not, Scorpio, you will be fine. Because the will is working in your favor. The will of fortune is all about learning from karmatic mistakes and getting past anything that's like holding you back. And just moving forward, new beginnings, new starts, new chapters in life. So I feel like, and this can be good fortune. It could be a new house. It can be um, you buying a new car, saving up for a new house, maybe a new job, whatever the case may be, starting a new path in life. But I feel like some of you guys is just really invested on your stability and like saving up money so you can like move out, get a new house, or whatever the case may be. If not, this is a person that's kind of like maybe you invest. You, I see some of you guys invested in an earth sign who kind of been off balance a little bit because they've had a financial loss and they've been they was trying to like move forward with their life um some of them was trying to save up for a house or a new beginning or something that was going to turn the page but then something had them standing back let's clarify why is the will of fortune again here clarify the will of fortune for my scoop your summer rising 
for March 2019 in love. Well, that's not a little yeah, this person, I feel like this person needs to temper themselves. They might have Sagittarius in their chart, or some of you guys can be dealing with Sagittarius. But this person needs to find balance in order to have a new beginning, to have things move forward like they needed to be, to have good fortune. This person needs to find balance between the mind and the heart, um, and also, like, logic with emotion, um, being grounded as well. This person needs to be more balanced, more grounded. So maybe they need to, in order for them to see what's in front of them to move forward, move the wheel forward, they need to get more grounded, okay? Because I feel like somebody has been off balance due to a loss or some type of like legal situation that you're dealing with when it comes to love. It can be you divorcing them or just your partner going through legal stuff that's been having them off balance, okay? But I see like that's for one, one you know, separate Scorpios, but for my other Scorpios, I definitely see you guys moving away from this person, okay? Yeah, I see the communication has definitely been, you know, you guys have been communicating your truths and your feelings about how you feel about this person with the Queen of Swords. And then we have the fast communication coming in, fast action, fast movement with the Ten of Swords. So this person has put you through the ringer. Like, it, this is like total defeatment. This is the end. You know, with the Ten, that breaks down to one. So this is a new beginning, a new chapter that's opening, okay? Because I feel like some of you guys just want to hold, hold back from investing more feelings into this person because you feel like it's not going away. You feel like, you know, this person's still holding on to old feelings as well. So, I really hope those messages resonated with you guys. I'm going to start making my videos really short this month. Just for now on because I have so much going on. And I feel like I can really give you quick messages. And if you guys want a personal reading, you can do so by booking me on www.ladyscopiustarot.com. Um, once again, this is Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm going to be doing some specials. So, I'll leave a message or a video about that as well. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy these quick messages about love. I'll come back. See you guys next month.